Hey everyone, Cove wants to hear from gsinvention.com. I'll be making a series of tutorials on how to make a full RPG game. In this tutorial, I'll be covering the D-pad and the animations of the main actor. First up, let's create a new actor. We will name this Main Actor. Drag that on the scene, place it around the center. Now, we'll go into our images section and I'm going to drag on the D pad. Just leave that in the bottom left corner. Now we're going to go to scene, layers, and we'll create a new layer. This layer will be called, well, considering I can't rename it, um, we'll just have to drag this up, up to the top and we'll untick scrollable. So now we'll drag the D pad into the unscrollable layer. This is so when we're walking around and the main actor is being controlled by the camera, the D pad will always stay on the screen. So now we'll go back into the game actors and we'll create a new actor. This one will be called move up. Now we'll locate the attributes create a new attribute, name it integer, choose, and name it move, as I've done already. So we'll just remove that. So now we're going to the actors section. We'll open up the move up actor, locate the graphics, turn off visible. We'll create a new rule. If touch is inside, meaning the actor Sorry, meaning that the person playing the game will be able to drag their finger around the D-pad without having to lift it. If we choose if touch is pressed, well, that's a different story. So we'll choose if touch is inside, behaviors, change attribute, game, dot move to one. Otherwise, alt click, copy, change attribute, game dot move to zero. We'll go back into the actors section. We'll copy the move up actor three times. Name the second one, move right. Third one, move left. Sorry, third one, move down. Fourth one, move right, left, sorry. So it should be move up, move right, move down, move left. So now we'll go into the move right section. So if touches and chide, change attribute game.move to two. Go back to the actors. Locate the move down actor. We'll just wait for this to load. Unfortunately, game salad is a bit slow at the moment. Um, it might be different for you, but on my computer, it's a bit slow. So now, touches inside, change attribute, game.move to 3. Click on home, back to the scene, just because game salad loads fast this way for me. I don't know about you, but it does for me. So now we'll open up the move left actor. Loading. So change attribute, game.move to four. So now we'll click on the scene, open up the initial scene which is the current scene we are working on. We'll drag the move up actor on the screen, size it to the appropriate size and place on the up arrow. Go to the move right, drag it on the scene, scale it to the size we want it at, Open up the move down, drag onto the scene, size it like so. Drag the move left onto the scene, place it and size it in the appropriate area. So now we'll go into scene, layers, and make sure it is in the right layer. So we now have it in the unscrollable layer, which is exactly what we want. 
So now we're going to go back into the background layer. So we'll just click on that. So now that we know we are editing that layer. Go back to game. We'll open up the main actor, which is located in the center of the screen. We'll click edit prototype. Create a new rule. If attribute game dot move is zero, then we're going to drag two change attributes on the screen now. So if game dot move equals zero, we're going to change attribute self motion linear velocity y to zero and change attribute self motion linear velocity x to zero. So now we're also going to change on a new rule. So in this rule we're going to have if attribute game dot move is one then we're going to change attribute self when it opens up self motion linear velocity y two I like having it set at 300 it's a nice speed you can change this to whatever you want you can have it 200 but that's just the speed of it going up so now we'll just alt copy that rule so if game dot move now equals 2 then we're going to have to change attribute self motion linear velocity x to 300 so now that will go right so the first rule that we created is still the second rule we created is go up the third rule we created is go right and alt copy again the fourth rule is go down so we're going to have to change attribute so if game.move is 3, we're going to change attribute self motion linear velocity y to minus 300. So that means it will go down. And we'll alt copy one more time. So this one's going to be called go left. So if game.move equals 4, change attribute self motion linear velocity x to minus 300 now we'll just click file save just so we back it up and we'll click preview as you can see the actor will move around the screen but there's no animation so it's actually quite boring and as you can see I'm just dragging the mouse around like so like so drag Alright, so as you can see, there is no animations and it's quite boring. So we'll go back into the main actor. And as you can see, our current image is nothing. It's just a white block. So I'm going to locate the images section. And I'm going to drag on, let's just say, this image. Now if I click preview, as you can see, he'll move around with an image. Still, this is not what we want. So we'll go back. And we'll open up the go up. So what we're going to do is we're going to locate the going up animation. And we're going to drag in the first image into here. So if we're going up the screen, it will change the image to that. So as you can see, so now we'll go into the behavior section and we'll drag in an animate rule. The change image is there, so if the character stops, that's the image it will turn to. So now what we're going to do is we're going to animate. So we're just going to drag all the animations in, like so. Okay, so now we'll get rid of that. Now when the go right, we'll locate the animate behavior and we'll drag that in. 
Now we'll locate the going right image. Okay, so we've got the going right image. So we'll just drag that image on. And now we'll also drag it into the animate area. So we're just locating it. You, of course, will have your own images that you will be using. I'm just using these for the demonstration of the video. We'll close that. We'll open up the go down rule. Drag in the animate behavior. Go to the images. Find our go down character, which is right here. Drag on that image. And we'll drag in all the animations. It's almost finished. So now we'll close this rule and we'll open up the go left. So now we're going to also go back into the behaviors and we're going to drag on our animation behavior. We'll locate the images and find our going left character. Drag that in. So now we'll open up the animations and we'll drag them in like so. Now, when I click preview, you'll see he's controlling the camera like so. Ah, and as you can see, when we go up, it's not what we want. We have misplaced one of the characters in there. So, this is basically the core mechanics of the D-pad and the animations of the main actor. So what we're going to do now is we're just going to go back. And we want the actor to control the camera as he's walking around the scene. So we'll drag on the control camera behavior. And we'll open up the go up actor. Everything seems fine. Everything seems fine. So now we'll just open up the still, so when, the, when he's not meant to be moving, we'll drag in our image that we want him to be when he's not moving. So that's what he'll look like when you're, not meant, when you're not supposed to be moving. So now we'll go back to the scene, click on scenes, open up the initial scene. When this loads, We'll click on the camera button and we'll drag that into the center like so. This basically means wherever the actor goes, this little center point will follow the actor. So now just to prove, we'll go into layers, attributes, and we'll change the size of the height, we'll make it 2000, width 2000. So we'll click preview. Now as you can see, He's walking along the scene. So now we'll just change this back to 568 and 320. So now as you can see, he continues to walk around the scene. And this is just the start of the tutorials. Stay tuned for episode 2.